2022 is supposed to be a year where I hit this YouTube idea hard and I've got ideas but I'm struggling to actually hit record. And you see, the problem is, the longer I've waited, the more nervous I've become about hitting record on the camera. And that is where I'm at at the moment. I've got a, an amazing script, well I think it's good, a script for a series that I've created that's going to help you out a load. But every time I come to try and record it, I am I'm, I'm nervous and the fear has entered me again. And I feel like i got to just break it by doing this upload. Don't care how bad it is, it's just so I've got something out there to kind of... Oh, I'm back again and I'm doing content. Phew! Because at the moment I've got so much built up anxiety about recording this video that nothing's coming out. So if we can just get this one out, phew, 2022 might actually begin for my channel. <laughs> Right, I'm in the office space, as you can tell. It's something new, and let's talk about it. Well, let's not talk about it. Let's actually show you. I was so impressed with the office build from the guys that created it that, as a thank you, I created a little promo film for them to kind of share on their channel. So let's play that now. That might give you a little insight as to what my space looks like. What do you think? If you're in the market for a garden office and you got the funds, because they're not cheap, then give these guys a go. They're great, work really hard. A lot went into this. I love it. I love the space it's given me, away from the kitchen and the house, and I can leave my lights set up for shoots. I have finally now also, well I think, looking at the screen, cracked a kind of a YouTube set kind of area. It's not finished. I've got a blank wall here, which was never the idea. I've, I envisaged some really cool art on the wall. And then obviously I've got a, a bookcase with some books that I've never read. As I said, I've now got a space that I'm kind of happy with as a YouTube set. So let's run through my lights. I've got a, oh, let me get my phone app open and then we can do it at the same time. This is the rest of the office space. As you can see, it's it's a nice big space. Uh, I can store all my camera gear in one of those tool chests, which a lot of people do, and it's lockable. And that is where I usually would film all my client work, uh, get the paper backdrop set up there and stuff like that. It comes with two sausage dogs, and they're behaving really, really quite well, considering. We got my camera. It's set up tethered to the computer. And the reason being, if it ever loses focus, I can quickly use my mouse and click back on my face. And if it was on a monitor on top of the camera, uh, you don't get any control from the monitor. Like you don't, you can't tap the monitor to focus again, can you? So uh, this is working well. Just the built-in Canon app. Uh, you know, I can click wherever I want to focus, and it's 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 working well for me. Lighting-wise, we've got a. Aperture 60X causing this sunbeam effect on the background. Uh, I had to have something there and I, I've always liked doing slashes of light in client work. So um, it's not done properly. Obviously you'd probably use a, what would you use? A spotlight mount for it or something. But the barn doors are creating something quite usable for me at the moment. We then got the Amaran F7 and that is causing the yellow on my on my side of my face to kind of like help motivate that slash of light and that light behind me you know add a bit of similar color to the face and it all kind of gels it together well i think so anyway um we've also then got the amaran p60c 
And that is illuminating the bookcase a little bit. And then we got the Aperture 300D and that is with a grid softbox and that is just causing light to go across my face to give a slight Rembrandt look. We then got our microphone set up, got rid of the pop shield because do I need that really? I don't think so, the pop filter thing. And uh, yeah, this is it. Let's do a quick walk around actually. So as you can see, that's all the lights that I can control with the Sidus link turned off. You can now see the glow on the side of my face. And then we add the slash of light from the 60X. Turn on the, the bookcase light. It keeps resetting. I think the firmware update needs to be done. And there we go. We're back to how we should be. All right, that feels good to actually hit record and get a video up to show you a little bit of my life and behind the scenes and the office space. And uh, would love to know your thoughts on my YouTube area. Uh, got a lovely area here for my 100,000 subscriber plaque. We're so close. <laughs> and um, this year, I, I said it will be this year. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you can think of any cool art to put here while I'm waiting. I mean, a neon light would look cool there, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not gonna buy one, but how cool would something that says like, uh, just have fun with it, that's my saying. If you've got any tips for my sound dampening issue, any tips for my lighting, any tips for anything, let me know about down below. Office build is done. We can do some updates in the future, but let's start focusing on the bigger picture now. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy.